Hey, Laura, what you got planned for today? Hey, baby, your toy. You gonna play with some toys? Do a spin, Laura. Pretty girl, my pretty girl. Look at me. My pretty wife. So you going to run errands like that? What errands? You know what? I'm not going to do this. This is the style. All right. Okay? It's springtime. Hey, she just threw her shirt up. It's the style. <laughs> hey, let's have mommy leave so we can get started. So, a few months ago, Shanice and I talked about getting started for baby number two. And now is around that time where we want to get started. So I figure I'd do something nice for Shanice to try and get started. Laura, mm -hmm. do you want to be a big sister? Yeah, daddy big boy. Yeah, I'm a big boy, but are you going to be a good big sister? Uh-uh. Why? No. Good thing it's not up to you. No. So we're going to get some flowers. Yeah. And we're going to make the house nice and pretty for mommy, OK? Yep. Okay. Well, I went out with another kid. Laura's basically my assistant, so I'll take a couple more. Take one pillow off and put it on the ground. So we got the first part set up, and we'll set up the second part, but she's not going to be a part of the second part. We're going to send her somewhere else, okay? Okay. Give me a kiss. I'm cheap. Bye. Bye, you reader. She's a hand. I just sent Laura upstairs so Shawnee's family could watch for a little bit. And now it's time for part two of the surprise. Baby making time. I'm just getting home from running my errands. And I turn around and see this on the floor. Why is this happening? <laughs> what in the heavens is going on? Jesse. Flexible. <laughs> what are you doing? Jeffy. Pierre. Why? We're supposed to start having another baby, dude. <laughs> Number day. Does it have to be right day, day. today, like right now? What do you mean? Or I thought the plan was to um, talk about our plan. Ever since Shanice told me she wasn't ready to start for baby number two, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I respect that she needs some time for her body to heal after the surgery, but I'm still disappointed that we have to put our plans on hold. And I think this is something that we really need to talk about. I would have preferred our children to be closer in age. This age gap already, I don't like. What is your rush? Like you're saying you don't like this, but you want them to be back to back to back to back. What about me? What about my body? What about me? What about my sanity? What about me? Like how many kids do you want to have? I want like four, but like how many kids do you want? I don't know. One at a time. I don't know what I can deal with. I don't. If we, if we got to a spot where I knew we could handle four kids, I'm not going to push four kids. But you wanted me to give one answer. Because I can, I can see you flip-flopping. I can see us in that spot where we can have four kids and then you're just like, no. And but that would, I, to me, that would, I don't know what I'd do. That would like set me up. Like, whoa, did I just, waste all this time with somebody who didn't want the same thing as me? Like, why set ourselves up for some, a disappointment down the road if I know you don't want the same thing as I do? The one thing that seems so easy is when you think when you're married, you think you want a family, you think you want this, but you are dealing with two individual people and trying to meet as one so that everybody's goal is met and everybody's happy, that's hard. I really wish we talked about this freaking three years ago. This is a lot. I don't understand. I don't, like, like, and so that's what worries me. And we're a team. So it's it can't be just what your vision is. So when I hear you say, I wish we would have talked about that sooner, it almost makes it seem like, damn, you're not going to be happy or you're not going to get what you want in this relationship. And I'm like, damn. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. So, I, I just always assume that we're on the same page as this. We're not on two different pages. I'm just not going by your book. So whose book are you on? I'm trying to create our own book. I'm not trying to create what? the Chinese book. This is your This is your I'm book, I'm not dude. trying to create this is the your Chinese book. What do you mean? You it's go, my book. This is, you want it how you want it, right? I'm not saying I want no, it how I want it. No, I don't. I want to compromise. That's what I want to do. That's why we're having this conversation. I don't know. That's why I'm coming to you. We're having this conversation so we can figure that out. I'm not telling you because if I had it my way, I'll tell you we won't have any more kids. Or I'll tell you we'll have two kids. Or I'll tell you we'll have five kids. Or I'll tell you we have ten kids. If I wanted it my way, I didn't want to say that to you. So this is not the way I'm going. This is not Shawnee's book. This is us trying to come and try to figure it out to create our own. Okay. Relax. Take a breather. I'm Let's done. focus. No. I'm done. No, no. I'm, I'm done. done. I'm no, done. No, no, relax. I'm done. I'm Ooh. done. Dude. I'm done. Shawnees. I'm done. Shanice. No. Dude, relax. Calm down. What would be a compromise for you? I don't know. Because you don't have to you're the right one who has the problem. I'm not looking at you saying, I wish we would have talked about this before. Don't you? I don't understand why wouldn't you? I feel like this is this is already such a giant hump. What's like, a hump? What hump? This because is not we a still hump. haven't even gotten between us. We we still, what about us, Jeff D? What about me and you? I've been complaining to you about us hanging out and doing things, and that went out the window. I don't even ask anymore. Jeff D is focused on planning for more children, and I'm focused on trying to bond more as a couple, and our daily lives is kind of hectic. He's working, or I'm working, and one of us is at home with Laura, and it makes it really hard for us to spend time together. Since you have this all mapped out about how you want children, tell me what you have mapped out for me and you, or husband and wife. Okay, now I'm asking you, what do you want? To do stuff with you. Okay, so I'm not good at planning stuff out. I feel like he's not getting what I'm saying to him when I'm asking to spend more time. Quality time and spending time with Jeff D is really important to me. We spend a lot of time in this house, in these four walls, but going out and making memories and doing new stuff together and stuff like that, we don't do that. I want to do stuff with you and it doesn't even have to be anything. It could be us just going to get something to eat. It's like, you got to initiate it. I can't be the one because now I feel like I'm begging. I get it. Maybe I haven't been super focused on spending quality time together. But for me, the biggest problem is that we have different ideas about how many kids we want. And I think that's a huge issue. All right, so I know for you, for anybody, four would be a lot. Can you do me a favor, please? Yeah. Would you be able to just write it down? Like, what would make you feel comfortable or what you need to feel comfortable having four kids. And then we can talk about it soon. Yeah. Can I get a hug, please? This was intense. Well, it's all right, we'll, we'll continue to talk. Like, you know, we don't need to get super upset right now. You can't even have the baby. You can't even get started right now. You're okay.